right, uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sean Keenan. I'm co-founder and VP of product uh, of Unify. So the problem we solve, how do our customers kind of communicate the problem to us? Well, they have all of these new era of data sources uh, on the left-hand side of the screen here um, that are customer touch points with their brand or their product or their service. And they have tons of analysts working inside the enterprise trying to get access to that data to see if there's any signals in it to potentially drive decisions on behalf of the business. Uh, but the old legacy approach still exists in the enterprise where there's just a few data engineers that are responsible for serving data up to these thousands of analysts. And that model just doesn't scale anymore. Businesses need, need agility around their data um, to kind of drive business decisions. And the problem's only getting worse. Every single day, there's new data sources that arise. Um, enterprises continue to hire more analysts to try and leverage data. But what's the solution? Um, essentially, Unify is brought to market a product that enables the business analysts with inside these lines of business units to connect directly to the raw data sources through our platform and iterate and innovate on the data where it lives. So how did we do that? Here are some of the core pillars to our application stack. This is essentially where we've built uh, IP into our platform. And there's really five core pillars to our product. The first one is what we call the data catalog. That's essentially where we reach into any enterprise data source, whether it's on the cloud, on-prem, a spreadsheet on somebody's desktop, and we create a card catalog of all of the data sets that our algorithm believes exists inside these data sources. And what that does is it makes it very easily searchable and discoverable for a business user to go to Unify and, and find the data that they're looking for. The second piece we have is what we call data prep. So that's where users can mash disparate data sets together, apply business rules, maybe build a pivot table um, across trillions of, of you know, potential records of data, and really prepare the data so they can dump it into an analysis, analysis tool of choice um, to start seeing if there's any insights or kind of nuggets of information inside that data set. We use machine learning and artificial intelligence. So through all of the metadata we acquire from all the data sources we connect to, as well as how users are using data on our platform, we make smart recommendations to the business user. So things like recommending how two disparate data sets might join together. Or, hey, we detected a data quality issue in this data source. Would you like us to fix it automatically for you? And that's through a series of unsupervised and supervised techniques. Community is really important to us. We want to make sure that if an analyst created something very interesting inside our platform or created some new derived data set that has a ton of insights inside it, that every other user gets the benefit of it and knows that that asset exists. So there's a whole kind of social and collaborative experience inside our, our solution. We architected for the cloud for, for day one. We pretty much support every service in Azure. <laughs> um, we have all of the automation uh, to actually deploy these environments on behalf of our customers. And our application is a, is a series of microservices. So everything can kind of scale horizontally, independent of one, of one another. Um, so any deployment model we can essentially support. Again, I touched on this a little bit earlier. Here's kind of the competitive landscape and again, how we've been positioned. Um, you know, we're ranked number one across both Bloor and Gartner. Uh, obviously, you can imagine we use this kind of every chance we get. <laughs> um, from a verticalization standpoint, we're a horizontal product, uh, so we have customers in pretty much every vertical. Uh, there's really no analytic use case that we don't believe our product can support or ultimately deliver on. We have seen some signals uh, in the market, and we have a couple of out-of-the-box solutions, one in uh, healthcare and one in retail. Um, but essentially, this is an uh, uh, you know, uh, example of uh, how we're across uh, pretty much every vertical. Ooh, bear with me here, sorry. Uh, this is the team behind the company. Uh, I'm going to date myself here. We've been doing this all for about 20 years, building enterprise software products and, and, uh, and you know, building companies. Um, we've all worked across big companies, small companies, so we know how to take a, a small company and, and make a great outcome. So why should you folks care? <laughs> um, our product drives Azure consumption. So uh, if you have customers or clients that are talking to you about how do I seamlessly move data from pretty much anywhere up into the Azure environment, that's exactly what we do. Uh, and here's just an example of some of the customers that we're working on together. All right. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate your time.